I had no other way to do it. So, I, like, you know, I had, I used, like, because I got these anarcho gift cards from, like, you know, you know, doing good stuff at work and yeah. stuff like that, and I had to use them all. Oh. Well, what's, what's part of me just, like, ask, screw it, whatever, I don't care. I'm using this card. I, I was, I, part of me just wants to say, Nick, you can pay for this, but right. I just, I don't know. Yeah. Even, I think, um, from what my attorney said, she even knows I used a different card, like a blue card. Oh. Mm-hmm. Maybe she thought, you know, like, I felt comfortable enough just using bank account or something but you know, you know I told her I was going to Rocky and I told you I told you I was going to Rocky yeah and it was just like you know it, even uh, it felt like you know like looking back at everything like just like reading the scripture more and more now I can see like you know God told like gave me opportunities to get out like even my friend Jeremy uh, Lindstrom he even invited me to because like it was his daughter that came and watched the kids on Saturday that Saturday night and he was like, hey, you said we're going to a Rocky game. You want to go to me with the Bronco game and watch the Arizona Cardinals? Like, in my mind, it was like, you know, go. Just, uh, just yeah, just, just say, hey, I, I can't I can't find a babysitter. Bye. <laughs> Nikki. You know. And maybe that would have been like, you know, you know, like a light switch and my head goes off. Light switch and her head goes mm-hmm. off. Maybe it just, like, goes different directions. Mm-hmm. That was kind of like my last like opportunity to kind of get out it seems like because I, I wish I would have said yeah let's go <laughs> yeah and I think that would have just put me on a different trajectory so then Shanann did she actually say you're never going to see the kids again she said that to me before yeah that's yeah. kind of hard to hear yeah because she'd said to me before she went to Arizona because like I wasn't really sleeping on the bedroom I'll sleep on the couch or in the basement bed or something and like she had slammed the door you're never gonna see the kids again or something like that. did she get fiery like that? only once in our entire relationship I've ever seen her that, that way yeah and that was the a time before or was that on the night that it happened no it was uh probably back in North Carolina oh it was one it was just like one of those it was, it was just a fiery argument that yeah. I never, like, I never raised my voice to her or anything, and, like, you know, I, like, I just got mad, and I slammed the door, and she's like, God, I'm like, I should have slammed the door. Is that when you were in North Carolina that mm-hmm. last week? No, it was, like, like previous to that? It was, like, 2010, 2011. Oh, okay. It was, like, early, early, early. Okay. In her old house. Before kids? Yes. Were you dating, or were you married at that point? Dating. Oh. Yeah, it was just, like, I... I I don't remember what it was about. I think some, I think some girl maybe texted me like from my past or something, and like I was just like, this, and, and she was like, you know, don't have that happen again. And I'm just like, yeah, I can't have friends. Right. They're females. Like right. I don't even talk to this woman anymore. Right. And it was just like, yeah, that was, nope. Was she fiery? Did she have that Italian blood that her mom has? Good Lord, yes. <laughs> <laughs> And was she always like that, or was she? Uh, could, did she snap at things? Uh, it's, she would snap at me, but you could tell, like you know, something, something really irked her a little bit. Yeah. It, was, it would come out. Zero to hundred type thing, or what? I've, yeah, zero to like, yeah, two hundred. Oh, interesting. <laughs> she's, she's, she gets acclimated about something. She's like, all right, it's gonna happen. Well, that's why she was probably so successful at Thrive, right? Oh, yeah, like, she had done yeah. a couple other, like, direct sales business, but this one was just, like, it was different. Why? This one, like, because um, I think she had done, like, uh, Origami Owl and, like, something called, like, uh, It Works, and then, like, uh, some other, 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 a couple other things, like, uh, some bags and stuff like, stuff like that, but the supplement stuff, it just because it worked with her, mm-hmm. it worked with me. She's like, okay, I can kind of, like, use this. I was like, all right, this is what's doing for us. Yeah. And then, like, after a little while, like, she could see how, like, people are above her, how it was helping them. And then it was just, like, trickle-down effect. Mm-hmm. And it was, like, a good system about, like, you know, commission-wise and everything. And everything was just, she could use all the business IQ she has from running those cell phone shops mm-hmm. and from the uh, Dirty South Custom shops and all that. Mm-hmm. And she, she business minded yeah. she knows how to do accounting book like yeah. in the back of her hand so but it all just like fell into place with all that so huh. then on that night was it just a new type of fight it, it, was, it was never it was, had or what, it was, what happened yeah, it was, 
totally different type of fight. It was, you know, it was, just felt like, I don't know, it was more anger than, than anything else. Like, there was emotion to it at first, and then it just felt like it was just anger. It was just like, you know, like, like there was no love there. It was kind of like, what we were saying, what she was saying, it was just like, it's almost like we knew, like, something was combating at, at, at each other. And we didn't know, like, it, was, it wasn't ourselves. Really? No. Anger from you or anger from her? I think it was more anger from me and more, like, desperation from her to... Because she wanted to fix it. Yeah. She knew. She knew if something was right. Like, you know, like, when the whole thing with my parents happened, with the, somebody, my parents called them Nutgate. What happened? Nutgate. What's that? Oh, the, peanut, the peanut. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, with the, her family? Yeah. yeah Pistachio yeah, yeah. ice cream or whatever. Yeah, yeah they keep calling it nutgate. I haven't heard that. I haven't heard that either. Yeah. I guess what people are calling it. Okay. But uh, that was like another out. Like, you know, maybe I could have just like stopped everything with Nikki and just kind of concentrated on helping like whatever happened there. Because yeah. like, Shannon had a story, my mom had a story. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. Whatever happened, I, I probably asked my ten-year-old nephew probably can tell me what actually happened. Well, and they both have their feelings for good reasons, and they both didn't see it the other person's way. And yeah, and, like, maybe I... Because I, I didn't talk to my parents from then on until, like, August 6th. And, like, you know, my dad took that whole week off. You wow. didn't talk to your parents from then on? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, like, my Janelle was like, do not talk to them, do not call them, do not do anything. Is that what she said? Yeah. And, uh, the, uh, Cece's birthday was 17th, but I think the actual birthday party was like a couple days after. In August? July. In July. Yeah. And uh, like my, my mom or my dad was going to go, but then there was like a post on Facebook about, you know, allergies and stuff like that. She had made, and my dad was like, no, I just can't, can't do it anymore. Just like, because... He, he perceived that as her taking a shot type thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like she always says she never... You know, put those posts uh, directed at anybody. But I, but she she had a method. If you read them, you know who the yeah. she's talking about. She had a method to the madness, <clears throat> and you, know, you can see it. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, it's, I wish I could have just took more time just to fix that. Because yeah. like I was like I wanted my parents to be involved. Like since you know like, the whole wedding thing, and then up to that, it was like you know my mom, and my sister were always like. You know, Combating with Shan, Shan combating with them. Mm-hmm. My dad was always cool. Like he's just like me. He's just like you know, go with the flow. Like I just want everybody to do a long time deal. Chicks, man. I loved your dad. Oh, he's the best. Mm-hmm. Isn't he? I so, loved your dad. I'm sorry, keep going. That's cool. Um, I just wish I could have, like, just when we were in, uh, we were at the beach in August. Like my dad was supposed to, was take the whole week off just so we could see the kids and like uh, see me and like grab a cook out at my sister's house or something. And then, but we just pretty much spent five days at the beach and Shenan had like booked it. So like, you know, I mean, I, I didn't, I don't want to say like punishment for them not to see the kids, but like I wanted them to see it, mm-hmm. see them. You know, just, I wish I could have fixed it all, fixed all that. And I, I even like when I was at the beach, I told Shenan that. It was more like, like what was going on was more of like I feel like you know cause my dad's my hero. I feel like I've lost like something in my life. I haven't talked to him for three weeks. Mm-hmm. I haven't been seeing see the kids for three weeks, you know, on Facetime or anything. Mm-hmm. And I wanted them to be able to have that relationship. And they, she was pretty much gung ho. Like she tried to kill my daughter by giving her pink. I was like, that's that. I don't think she gave it to her. <laughs> And that, was that her stance? Is that your mom put that put something in front of CC, like to kill her, or no, just just, to, just like like didn't care, like like didn't pay attention. She she thinks that allergies and like this state of age is like people think oh you're like fine. it's made up like, kind of thing. Yeah, you'll be fine. You'll just have a rash. You'll be fine. Mm-hmm. I've seen CC, you know, like the first time. Well, I've seen a picture of when he had a cashew the first time. It wasn't good. And then she had kiwi the second time, and then the same thing happened. And um, I know it's real. Do you know it's serious? Yeah. Yeah, it's not like it wasn't like her throat like closed up, but she broke out in this full body rash. It looked really mm. crazy looking, and luckily, like you know, nothing, nothing with her throat like happened. But um. So did that make you angry to, at your mom for doing that? Yeah, I mean, I just like, mom, you just gotta. I told her you need to think. You need to like, you know, pay attention. Just because another kid can have something doesn't mean another kid can have something. Because like when we were at that birthday party at Jeremy's on that Sunday. 
you know, they had this cake there. Like, Bella, Bella wanted it so bad. I'm like, can't give it to you because she, she can't have it. She was like, you know, okay. And all the other kids were like, shit, they can't have the cake. You know, they're like, I just kind of took them off and gave them some, like, uh, like uh, one of those frozen pops or something. But, you know, it's just like she had to learn that just because one kid can have something and there's another kid that can't have it for a legitimate reason, like, you know, she couldn't have done it. But, you know, that's the kind of talk I had with her. When Shannon called me, I think it was maybe like middle of July or something when she told me all this had happened. Mm-hmm. That's when I called my mom and talked to them for a while, and then they're just like, you know, they just couldn't deal with her anymore. Shannon just kind of like, you know, they like flipped out. And my nephew told Bella to go hide behind the curtain because I don't think your mom was going to let you come over here again or something like that. Aww. So it got heated. Oh, they were. It was bad. Really? Yeah, they, it was. It was like a last straw between them. I think. Like in the same room or over the phone? No, they were at, at the house. At, they were, and so they at were my, really at my mom's house. Yeah. Because CC and Bella and my niece and nephew were there. Okay. How did so Shanann find out about the ice cream thing? Because uh, Shanann was there, and um, I guess they were all sitting uh, on one, one of those couches, kind of like a U. And my niece went into the kitchen, and she knew where the ice cream was. She had um. been there. So it's not like your mom gave it to her? Like she got oh, no, her own no, she, ice cream? Yeah, she went in the freezer, got it, went out, and sat beside Cece and started eating. So, but, like, it's just a matter of, like, Cece could go, like, right. Right. like that. Now, I don't, I don't know what would happen if she just got it on her hand. Right. But, like, I know on, like, the prick test, you know, mm-hmm. on, her, on the back, it's like a well. So, so were they staying there at your parents' house during that time? Cause yeah, it was, um, so they would go from my... Uh, from Sandy and Frank's house yeah. for like a few days or five days and then go to my mom and dad's house yeah. for a couple of days and come okay. back and forth. Okay. So it happened during that time mm-hmm. when they were there, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so there were so many things that happened, weren't there? They just were little tiny ingredients to this yeah, recipe. Nothing, yeah, nothing like... It's nuts, Chris. I mean, it's just so many things just didn't go your way. Everything was like, a, like somebody was stirring a pot and it was just... Yeah. just exactly what it was like so then I know I keep bringing it up can you walk me through the, just the last few minutes before Shenanda it was pretty much just like, I had gotten dressed for work and then like we started talking did she come to you no I was, I was just right there in bed oh just, okay yeah so I was just like I got my blue shirt on I'm not and everything you ready to go Go was she asleep, or did, did you have to wake her up to finish your conversation? I uh, wake her up because like she 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 got home like two o'clock, so she was she pretty much out of it. But I never knew like if like if her plane got delayed. Someone, someone always told me like she just like sat around with Nicole and just like talked for a while and then came home. Or I'm not sure if that yeah, was it was, was delayed. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, when she came home and everything, but yeah, like I I, I woke her up to talk to her. Oh, okay. Yeah. And is that because it was just eating at your brain? Yeah, like, I, I knew, like, you know, something, like, it something just felt right with me. So I know, like, she knew. I'm, I just, I just knew she knew. I just felt like maybe, like, maybe the kids weren't going to be there when I got home that day. Oh, interesting. Now, um, I don't mean to offend, but I have to ask, is that really the truth? Okay. I really felt like there was, they weren't going to be there when I got home that day. Oh, and like so, she would take them somewhere? No, I just, I, just, I just felt like either maybe I wouldn't go home, maybe they weren't going to be there, or I wouldn't be allowed in type of thing. I think I saw some text messages where she had talked about um, that she would take the kids to another state or something because she couldn't, wouldn't be able to afford to live in Colorado or something. Did she say that kind of stuff to you? or yeah. What did she say about that? She said she couldn't afford to live in Colorado by, on her own. And that, uh, I told her, like, well, you know, drive, and she pretty much makes the same amount I do. Yeah. But uh, uh, she said she wouldn't, she wouldn't want to try, just because, you know, Colorado, just, just the price of living there was a lot higher than North Carolina. Mm-hmm. And just so, just so I'm clear, you thought maybe she was, she, in your mind, you thought maybe she would take the kids somewhere else or, like, lock you out of the house or... Or just, like, you know, I, I wouldn't want to make a scene, like, you know, trying, like, pound on the door, trying to get in or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Like, I just felt like, you know, that that was what I did on Sunday. You know, it was kind of like, or Saturday night, was kind of like the last draw. Kind of like going out with somebody and using uh, an actual bank account card and just like not trying to hide it at all. 
so walk me through it though because she comes home she touches you you guys have sex you fall asleep then you wake up for work all natural all you know a normal day's work type thing yeah. what was it that made you think I just can't do this anymore I have to talk to her I, it was eating away at me like I yeah. knew like something I knew everything that I did like I know like when I was with Nikki it was you know different like I wasn't even like in the realm of I'm a dad I'm a husband type thing oh and then like like I, like I was saying when I'm never at home like sleeping in my own bed and, like I have no like concept of that anymore interesting because it so was in your mind of, and heart you can move moved on like it was it just it kind of felt like if I wasn't at home like I didn't think about it almost because like I, if I wasn't sleeping on my own like I think there was one at one point like Nikki had gone to the mountains with her friends for like a few days like end of June first part of July and then like you know that part you know obviously obviously I was at home but like from that whole month of July on it was like I was never at home like I never had all those reminders around me I never had you know like every time my wife would call me I would be at Nikki's house oh while she was in North Carolina yeah okay and I would like you know walk outside or talk to her like when I was next to the car or something like that and, uh, I would never be at home looking like just have all these pictures around me just being in the same bed you know seeing my kids in bed seeing everything that you know, that we know for the last six years and so, did you just want to once and for all get it out in the open? I just, I just wanted to just tell her how I was feeling at that point in time. Like, I didn't feel like me and her were compatible anymore. Yeah. I honestly, I didn't feel like that because what was going on with Nikki, it was, just, it was new. It was new. Right, absolutely. Anything that's new always feels better than the old. Yes. And you were probably different. bitten by the love bug. Yeah, it is. how a lot of therapists talk about it. Yeah. But it was just like... I never felt that. I mean, even like with new relationships in the past, like it always feels different, like, you know, the first couple of weeks and then, you know, but it, it just, with someone Nikki felt different, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was just like you said, like, you know, I was more in control and like, it was more of like, maybe more of me coming out. Because mm-hmm. Nan always said, like, it always seemed I was more myself around other people, like, you know, her cousin, Cody, like, you know, like, she, uh, Cody lived or came up, visited us for a little bit while we were in Colorado for a little while. And Cody always talked about, like, how oh, Chris is so funny. Chris is like, she never always just like, why are you never like that with me? I'm just like, you know, maybe I always felt nervous about you. There's only so much oxygen in the room, right? I say I this to some people with dominant personalities, mm-hmm. you know? I just always felt nervous. I always felt like I was, you know, you know I never could actually just myself right Nikki I was myself like all the time it was just different well and it seems as though and again it's hard to talk about and you tell me if I'm wrong but it also seems uh, is it accurate to say that sexually you were able to say Nikki this is what I would like this is what I'm into or blah 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 maybe not what you have no Nikki just wanted I mean she wanted what she wanted she wanted to do it pretty much all the time I was just like okay that's mm-hmm. fine with me okay you know with Shannon it was just like like hey, <laughs> sometimes it happens, sometimes it didn't. But it, that wasn't that wasn't the case as far as that way. It wasn't just like sex or whatnot. But okay. it was mainly I was just one myself. I could like you know just not think about what I was gonna say or plan what I was gonna say or not you know I'm gonna say something stupid or something. But right. A little bit of freedom. Yeah. Can I ask you something about that morning that you had sex with Shanann? Did you feel at all like maybe you were kind of cheating on Nikki by doing that? I felt strange. I felt like, you know, the first time I was with Nikki, I felt weird. First time, like, sure. and then the last time I was with Shannon, I felt totally strange. I was just like, I, I didn't know who I was. I didn't know who I had become. I, didn't, I felt like I'd become people I see on TV, and that did not feel right with me. Like, I just, I didn't know, I didn't know what had happened to me. Mm-hmm. So I, Nikki even asked me, like, are you... Yeah, have you done this before? Have you go straight away? I'm like, I've never even thought about it. It's like, what's, what's different? It's like, I guess it's just you that's different because I've just never actually, like, like, I've seen girls smile at me before, never done anything about it with her. It was just like, it's like she had a leash on me and she tugged me away. Mm-hmm. As soon as she walked, I'm like, what the heck the hell is that going on? So. Well, and Tammy brings up a very good point. 
I wonder if that last time with Shanann having sex had a somewhat of a role in you thinking like a trigger I, I gotta do something I gotta say something we gotta have a talk something's gotta change is yeah, that I accurate? Yeah, I just I felt like it was like maybe like a trigger point or something like like you hit the push button on a, on a bomb it just blows up right just something in my head was just like something just like just something was hurting just like I had to say something okay so then exactly what did you say and what happened? so when I woke her up and it's like hey we just gotta just gotta talk Okay. And I just like I told her, I don't feel compatible. I don't feel like this is gonna work. I just, you know, I don't wanna. Like, can we cancel a trip to Aspen? And she had booked a trip that week oh. to go to some like mystery four-star luxury hotel or something. Mm-hmm. Just the two of you or the whole family? Just me and her. Okay. And she had a uh, man to fair and then watch the kids that week, that weekend or something. Okay. And um, I was just like, can we cancel that? Can we like do something like? A, what I remember, I even said, can we move to Brighton? <laughs> just to get away from, like, this house. Oh. But, like, I'm not sure if that was, like, like, in the beginning or the end of part of the conversation or whatnot. It, that conversation was so many different ways. Like, they had gone from, like, staying together to not staying together to just, like, all of the above. Okay. So this is half an hour, an hour or what? Uh, uh, definitely not more than half an hour. I don't think. Okay. I don't think. Are you crying? Is she crying? It's, it's back and forth. It's like, you know, she's, she's got, you know, mascara. She didn't wash her face when she got home. She had makeup on still, so mascara was running all over her and stuff like that. And yeah, it was and nothing nothing about that conference. I just wish I could take all of it back. Just be, just the, the whole Nikki thing back, everything. But so then when did it turn? As far as that conversation? Just at the end, when I was telling her, like, I, I, I told her I didn't love her anymore. And that's what happened. What happened? She told me to get off her, and I put my hand on her. Okay. Did you say she said something like that you were hurting the baby or something? Yeah, that was before that, because, like, when I was straddling her, it was kind of like around her waist type deal. Why did you get on her like that? I just... When we got off, when we got on the bed, that's, that's just where I got on. Is that so she would listen to you? I felt like she could probably listen to me just laying beside her, but I got on top of her. Mm-hmm. And every time I think about it, I'm just like, did I know I was going to do that before I got on top of her? I don't know. Really? That's an interesting thought, Chris. Mm-hmm. You don't know if you do. It's like the whole, everything that happened that morning, I just don't, I don't know, like... Like, I try to go back in my head, and I'm just like, I didn't want to do this, but I did it. And just, everything just kind of like... I felt like you had to? I just felt like it was... I don't even want to say it, I felt like I had to. I just felt like there was already something in my mind that I wasn't planning that I was going to do it, and I woke up that morning, it was going to happen, and I had no control of it. You never thought about it before? It was just like, I don't want... Like, when, like, like, you, like in the sentencing hearing that prosecutor said it takes two to four minutes for something like that to happen. Like, why, why couldn't I just let go? I didn't. Oh, well, that's interesting. Why couldn't I just let was go? Was it feeling like it was in motion and you just couldn't stop it? Yeah, it was just like, I don't even want to know what, what she saw when she looked back at me, honestly. Did you look at her? What was she doing? She was fighting. Why do you think she wasn't fighting? Uh, maybe she was praying. Maybe she was just. Now I read, read the Bible. It said, you know, like, you know, uh, or the scripture says, don't uh, uh, forgive these people for they do not know what they do. Now I read, read the Bible. It said, you know, like, you know, uh, or the scripture says, don't uh, uh, forgive these people for they do not know what they do. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe she was saying that. I don't know what she was saying in her head, but she. You know, like, like when you guys told me, like, take off your shirt and step check for defensive wounds, and like, you know, there wasn't going to be any. She didn't fight you. I don't know like, why. If she didn't grab. Could she grab your arms, I, or were your arms pinned down? Or I don't, not, not that I remember. I don't think so. I mean, I, I don't think like I moved to where my knees were around her arms or anything. But it was just kind of like when I got on top of her, we we started talking. It was that was it. 
it's kind of like in my head or like in the back of my head that was going to happen and just like at the end of the conversation it was just like 